again. Uh, Zoe, Miss D Heart. Call me what you want, maker. Let's make some more. So yeah, today is St. Patrick's Day. And instead of going into a traditional, you know, make and take shamrock project, I am gonna go in a different direction. I'm gonna talk a little bit about fairies. So I've spent two times in Ireland. I have some um, family friends that live there and there's this really cool folklore about fairies. Fairies. So fairies, there's a lot of cautionary tales about fairies. They're small, magical, you know, beings, but they're tricksters. There's some good fairies, there's some bad fairies. I actually have this book that I read while I was in Ireland and then I got this here as a gift. Um, it's by Brian Frodo and he was one of the main conceptual artists that worked on the movie The Labyrinth, which if you know me is one of my top five Desert Island movies. I already watched it uh, during this, you know, social distancing. Yeah, that's it. Social distancing. So. Good Fairies, Bad Fairies. This is a great book, some great illustrations. Um, Brian also worked on The Dark Crystal, but these illustrations, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. This is the Bad Fairy side, so you can read all about the Bad Fairies. And then on this side, if you flip it around, is the Good Fairies. Again, great illustrations. I'm just gonna show you one of my favorite pages of the Good Fairies. Good fairies. Great, great illustrations. Um, I think we can get this on Amazon. I'm not sure, this was a gift. Uh, but yeah, so fairies. When you're in Ireland and you go, you know, hiking or on any kind of adventure outdoors, you will oftentimes find fairy doors in the woods. And that's what we're gonna focus on is fairy doors. So here is where we're headed today. Again, I love cardboard. I always have cardboard around. We get the dog food delivered from Amazon. I get like my shampoo, things like that from Amazon. Um, not only that, some packaging. This is seltzer from Aldi. Beautiful. I'm gonna actually use the, the purple side of this today. But this was made from a combination of Amazon packages and my cereal boxes from our Colograph project. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to do the corrugation, which is showing this texture I'm gonna show you some tricks to getting that, you know, uncovered. Here's another fairy door. This one's a little bit wet because I painted it with some temper paint. Um, again, little fairy door. Painted that. That's made completely of, again, cardboard. So what you're going to need today is a variety of cardboard fixed in um, packaging boxes from, sh you know, your mail, shipping, whatever. You're going to need some scissors. You can use regular crafting scissors or large kitchen shears if you need. Um, if you're a little maker, have your, your grown up use the large ones. You might need some temper paint if you decide to paint your fairy door. This is just washable temper paint. I kind of like the natural cardboard and I'm gonna go with that for a lot of my, my fairy doors. And you're gonna need some white, some white glue. If you're not into painting and you wanna do markers, then you know, some washable markers or permanent Sharpies can be helpful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a piece of cardboard. I recommend you go on Google, search fairy doors, search fairy folklore, Irish fairies. There's so many images. Um, so these are literally like little tiny doors and you're gonna put, you can put them throughout your house. It, it would be really cute having like little fairy doors. I've actually thought about putting some fairy doors over on the line missing trails. I feel like that would be a really cute, it's so magical over there. So I am going to draw a door shape. It can be a traditional door shape. I think I'm gonna go with a traditional door shape and I'm gonna cut this. I'm using the kitchen shears right now. However, these Amazon packages are like really awesome cardboard because regular scissors do cut through Amazon packages. Some boxes too thick because they're double thickness and they're just, they're just super terrible to cut with regular scissors. So I wanna show you how to get this corrugated texture. Cardboard has three layers, typical, typical cardboard. So you're gonna look for the side that has the channels. You can see those channels there. And I'm gonna stick my pencil 
in that channel and just kind of stick my pencil in the channel and just kind of move down the piece of cardboard and eventually this will pop and you can peel it back. Now, if this doesn't work, you could spray it with a little bit of water and it will loosen the glue, but you can see that beautiful texture. Beautiful, love it. Now, this is really flexible. After you've uh, removed one layer, it becomes really flexible. So you could make, if you have your door, you could make like a little overhang. I like the idea of a little overhang. I will sometimes too fold down like a little flap so that it has something to glue. That's what I'm gonna do. So I am gonna, I have my door shape. I'm just gonna start working. I'm gonna start building a door. I'm gonna think about different textures, uh, natural stone in Ireland. Oh, it's so gorgeous. There's so much natural stone stonework. I tried to create that along the edge of this one. So I'm gonna glue my corrugated cardboard down. I'm making a little roof, a little overhang. You could use hot glue for this if you have a hot glue gun. You could. A little corrugated. And I think I'm gonna make some bricks out of the corrugated cardboard that we just made. Like some little stones. I love, love, love cardboard. I know I've said that before, but I'm just gonna repeat myself. I love cardboard. And I'm just gonna start making some stones like that. You could hand, you could draw these ahead of time. If you have little makers, have the little makers draw the shapes they want, and then have your your adult, your grown up at home, cut them out for you. If you can't cut cardboard yet, just making some stonework. Put little windows, whatever. And then I want to make my little doorknob. Now this is the time that you could start painting. You could start using Sharpies if you want. Anything you want. Yeah, I like that. I'm actually using the paper that I peeled off of the cardboard because that's some great texture too. make a little window. So here's my little fairy door that I've been working on. Still need to add a little doorknob, maybe some other details. Um, this guy here is my favorite right now. I really like him. So yeah, here are some examples of my fairy doors. So go online and Google search fairy doors. Super, super fascinating. A lot of cool, cool information. Um, yeah, hope you had fun. Thank you again for making with me. Have a great day.